Hello, in this video I'm going to be going over how to make a save and load system inside of Unreal Engine. So in this project, if I press the 1 key, it will say save game on the screen and it will save where my player's location is. And then if I press the 2 button, it will load me back to where I saved my player's location. Then if I close this project and click the play button again, it will load me in where I last saved my player's location. So hopefully after this video, you'll know how to save and load variables inside of Unreal Engine. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the Blueprints folder right click and look for blueprint class and you'll go to all classes and look for save game you just want to select this and then click the select button then you want to name this so I'm going to call this my third person save because I'm in the third person project then you want to double click and head inside here and then you want to create variables for all the variables that we're going to save so in this example we're going to be saving our player's transform which is his location, rotation and scale so I'm just going to create a new variable and I'll call this player transform and under variable type, I will just change this to a transform. Then you want to click compile, and then you want to close this. Next, you want to go to your character. So I'm going to head over to the third person character. And you want to find some free space and just right click and look for event begin play. And event begin play, we're going to check to see if our player has a save. So we'll do that by dragging off here and looking for the does save game exist node. And then off the return value, you want to drag off here and look for branch. And for this does save game exist, we need to have a slot name. So for this example, I'm going to call my slot name 1. So as soon as the game starts, we're going to be seeing, do we have a save game that exists in slot 1? If we don't, then we're going to create a save. To do that, we're going to drag a false and look for create save game object. And then we're going to select the third person save that we just created. Then we want to drag off here and look for set player transform. And then we're going to right click and get our actor transform and just plug this into here and then we'll drag up here and look for save game view slot and the slot name is going to be one and we just want to connect this into here so as soon as the game starts if we don't have a save then we're going to get our character's current transform and just save this then on the other hand if save game slot one does exist, then we're going to load in that data from that save. So to do that, we'll drag off true and look for load game from slot. And the slot name is going to be slot one because that's where we save our game to. Then from here, we can drag off and look for class to third person save. And then we want to right click on this and promote this to a variable as we'll be referencing this later. And then we want to right click and look for set actor transform and we'll just drag off here and get the player transform and plug this into here and connect this into here and click compile. So now when the game starts, if we don't have a save, it will create one. And if we do have a save, it will load in the data. Next, we're gonna make it so that when I press a certain key, it will save my player's transform. And then later we'll make it so that if we press a certain key, it will load in our player's save. So first we're gonna make it so that we can manually save. So to do that, when I press the 1 key, we're going to make it so it saves our player's transform. So I'm going to right click and select the 1 button. And when I press this, I'm going to check that we have a save game in slot 1. And if we do, so for branch, then we're going to save our player's transform. So we'll just drag in this and drag off here and look for set players transform. And then we'll drag off here and look for save game to slot and the slot name will be one and we'll just connect this into here and connect this into here and then we'll just copy this and plug this into here and then i'll just drag up here and look for print string and i'll make this say saved game so now when i press the one button it will save my player's transform next we'll make it so that when i press the two button it will load in my player's transform so I'll just right click and look for the two button. And again, I'm going to check that our save game slot one exists. And if it does, then I'll load in my player save. So to do that, I'll just drag in this variable. And from here, we can get our player transform. So we'll just look for get player transform. And then we'll right click and look for set actor transform so say actor transforms here the last one 
and then we'll just connect this into here and plug this into here and now if I click compile and play say I move all the way here if I press the one button it says save game I can move away if I press the two button I'll go back to my transform and if I just close this and then click the play button I start where I last saved because of this variable and then there's one more step um, that I forgot to do you just want to connect this into here so if we don't have a save we'll create a save and then we'll load in the game and if you wanted to delete the save to do that if we just go to the content folder you want to right click and go to show an explorer and then you want to go to the name of the project so the name of this project is called save and then you want to go to the save folder and then there'll be a save games folder and if you remember we called our save we called our save game in slot one so it's called one if we just delete this and i close this if i click the play button it will delete my save so i'll start in the default location so now if i just go to a different place and i press one it'll save my game i can go all the way here and then press two and it'll load in my game and that's how to create a save game inside of unreal engine i hope you enjoyed if you did like and subscribe and i'll see you next time